everyone, welcome back. Today I was thinking of filming a day in the life with a new puppy because I recently got a new puppy and he is two and a half months old, so 10 weeks old. And I was thinking of filming a video on how it is actually like to have a dog because I thought it'd be a tiny bit easier than it actually is to have a puppy but it's just proven to be a tiny bit more difficult than I envisioned um, and I'll tell you why and I'll show you when I feed him and when I bring him out, potty training, all that jazz um, but yeah it has been a bit more difficult than I thought I knew it wasn't going to be easy but I just thought it was going to be a tiny bit more easier but that's not the case. So, uh, so Buddy is used to sleeping at night for two hours before his actual bedtime on the sofa with my dad because he stays up a bit later than us. And then when he wakes up after two hours, he, uh, my dad brings his crate into their bedroom, which is downstairs, because he always has to have someone in the room with him while he's sleeping. That's why we still can't just leave him in the kitchen. And then he normally wakes up about eight o'clock and then we feed him exactly when he wakes up and we bring him outside to do his first um, wheeze and stuff outside so he gets used to that. And we have started potty training him. We started potty training him doing it on the pee pads inside the house, but we then started training him to do it outside. So we basically bring him outside in the garden every time he drinks, eats, wakes up from a nap or plays so um, we have less accidents pos as possible in the house. The only thing is, he started not doing it on the pee pads anymore, which he, he actually was quite good the first few days doing it always on the pee pads. But now that he's used to doing it outside wherever he wants, obviously because in the garden you can just do it wherever you want, we haven't trained him to do it in a certain spot of the garden. He tends to do it wherever he wants if he needs one inside, which is not ideal. Originally he does it on the pee pad, so he's done, he had his vaccinations done literally yesterday, the last lot of them. Because you're meant to get them done on, at eight weeks and then at 10 weeks. And he's just been 10 weeks basically. And uh, he's had his vaccinations. But he's not allowed to go out for another two weeks, which was really a surprise for me because I did not expect that. Because I thought they were just able to go out like a day after they'd had their last vaccines. But we have to wait other two weeks. So we'll be three months when, when he actually gets to go on walks outside a day, but to feed him four times a day. Um, so um, I'll show you how we feed him four times a day. Basically we feed him at eight o'clock when he wakes up or se half past seven, whenever he wakes up. And then we feed him at midday and then we feed him at five o'clock at night. And then we feed him at nine o'clock at night, right before bedtime. And that seems to do him okay. We only started doing that for the last like maybe Oh, literally since yesterday um, but I'll show you whenever I feed him and stuff so this little one's sleeping isn't he buddy hello buddy hello so anyway my dad fed him his breakfast and I fed him his noon lunch type of thing out right after I fed him and he was being really, really naughty. He was like eating all the leaves and he was trying to get on top of the planters, like where the plants are all buried. <laughs> he was getting up and going into the, into the plants and I was putting him down and saying no off. Like, he wasn't really listening because he just kept doing it, but oh well, he was being really naughty. But he did a number one twice but he didn't do a number two which i was kind of hoping for because whenever he's just air and i bring him outside he always does a number two but he didn't do it this time he got like tired so now he's sleeping and he's been sleeping for the past maybe hour hour and a half in a few hours he'll be due his snack but it'll still be the same amount of food that we normally give him every meal He always fidgets in his sleep, like he'll twitch so much. While he's sleeping, I'll just show you what setup we have for when we bring him on a walk outside in the garden. This is the bit where we then go out from this door, which is the main door that we always go out from. So these are his harnesses. This is a lead and we've got the bin bags. Well, they're finished now, but the bin bags, we put, normally put them in there. Oh, he's woken up. Hello, buddy. Hello, hello, 
Are you okay? I think you might want to go outside. You might need a number two now. Oh, he's just sitting there because I'm here. This is his red lead and there's bin bags attached to that. This is his harness. It's really, really small because um, he looks like he's quite big, but he's actually just all fur. Then we've got treats in here, here so we can get them before we leave. And this is a little puppy. Hello. Hello. So now that he's woken up, we're going to play fetch. He's not very good at playing fetch because he's only a tiny little boy. So he'll bite that. Then I'll grab this and then he'll look at it and then I'll throw it. And then I'll go and catch it. <gasps> good boy. Good boy. Yeah, sometimes he's not interested in the things that I throw. Good boy! <laughs> Recently I've been trying to tr um, train him to sit down whenever I asked him to on the first two days because that's quite easy. Since yesterday I've tried to make him learn lie down or lay down, I don't know how I say it but um, I don't even know how you, how you say it actually like right. At first I'd like, rem I'd like remove his legs from in front of him so he'd lie down. Oh he might be doing... <gasps> Bravo, 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 bravo. He literally just did a wee on the pee pads because I haven't brought him out. <laughs> so I probably should have brought him out because he had a, a nap. So I should bring him out now because he might do a number two. But we say bravo, which means good boy in Italian. Because when you potty train puppies, you're meant to say a specific word that you're not going to say at any other time. So he understands that that's the code word for doing that, doing his business. I'll just bring him out now and I'll show you what, what, how I get ready to go out. To be fair, there is sun today, so it's quite, I don't have to actually get all bottled up because all the other days I had to like put a mask to um, make my face warm. Jacket and everything, I might just put one jacket on now because it's not that cold, but it's not that warm either. So yeah, I'll just show you my attire to go outside and bring him out. I've got a jacket on and I've got one glove on because um, once I put two gloves on and I couldn't open the the poo bag with um, the gloves on because obviously it wouldn't open so what I normally do, what I used to do was I'd put his harness on and I'd have to do it on my own so it was a big mess because he wouldn't put his two feet in so now I don't bring his harness out um, or a lead really even though he is a bit naughty but um, oh well. So now I just get the, the box of treats and I'll get three because he normally does two number ones and then one number two normally and I'll put it in my little my um, pocket. We get one bin bag from here if I'm not bringing the lead and I'll open it before I leave so I don't have the problem of opening it with a glove which I'm okay there we go. Anyway now we're gonna leave. Oh I just got my I just got my glove stuck. Look, this is actually the most stupidest thing ever. Okay, thank God. Okay, so. <gasps> Come on. It's not that cold today, uh, well now, so that's good. And I normally don't play with him because Otherwise, he won't be concentrated on actually doing his business. It's really nice because the sun's out today. Really hope he's not naughty this time round because, honestly. I normally run if I want him to run because he'll follow me. See if he follows me. Buddy! Come on! Come on! Good boy! Not care. He's always in this little corner and I always need to like move him off. Off! Look at him! Yes, see, this is not. Say hello. <gasps> Say hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so I am quite warm with this jacket on. <laughs> um, come on. <gasps> come on. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so he's finally on. 
understood that I am here, I exist. So this is what he was doing um, before. He had this plant name thing, and I name tag. It is quite sturdy, like cards, so he can't really bite into it very properly, but he's such a naughty dog, like... Now this is going in the bin, you're not touching it anymore. Go inside. So it's about half past four and I'm gonna um, feed Buddy now because it's his third meal of the day. And so I'm gonna put him in his crate so he can eat in there and I'll show you exactly how I feed him. Come on. Uh oh. So he's all in his crate, good boy, good boy. So I normally get one spoon of food and I put it in my hand and then I give it to him gradually so he doesn't eat it all fast because he tends to like literally eat the whole bowl in like one minute, even less than one minute. So what I do is I take a little amount, I take this, oh, I take this amount and then I'll just pour it in my hand and then I'll gradually feed it into the other, other hand. No, this hand. Oh. So once I've given him the food out of my hand, I get the little pot. The fold, and I put a tiny bit of water in it and then I mix it up so they all are coated with water so it's easier for him to like swallow them because he eats literally so far. Come on! And then I'll just leave it there for him to eat. His ears always get stuck in the, in the food. So my camera battery just died, so I'm um, filming on my phone. But I've just brought him out because he's just ate. He's still in the, the corner that he absolutely loves to wait for him to do whatever he has to do. He's jumping. Jump! Jump! Can you hear the car music? Jump! Come on! Jump, good boy! Jump again! Jump! Jump! No? So it is currently half past six. Buddy is due his dinner, like his last meal, around nine o'clock at night. I've already shown you how I feed him, so I'm not going to show you again because it's just boring. He didn't, he literally has done a number two once today, like just one time, which is really weird for him because he normally does it every time we go out. Not every time, but most times that we go out, so that's a bit strange. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I train Buddy and I'm gonna show you how I make him sit. He already knows the command sit, but um, the lay down, lie down, whatever it is, we're still working on it, so I'll show you what progress we're at, but yeah. Buddy, come on. <laughs> So, come on! Buddy, sit! And I'll Lie down! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Buddy! Come on! Sit! Lie down! Good boy! So yeah, he's um, learned how to lie down basically, so thank you. It is now time for Buddy's bedtime and he's gonna sleep for two hours on the couch with my dad and then he'll um, be put into my dad and my mum's room to sleep the rest of the night. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed the video and bye. See you in the next video. That was a very embarrassing outro.